I met a man when I was young who changed my life for years to come. He taught me art and love and time and changed the way I think of rhyme. I grew up in a world of song as long as I brought his books along. His words pierce my heart like lightning bolts from Zeus. And that man's name was Dr. Seuss. Seuss. I met him through the books I read and I've been in love with poets ever since then. Poems are special. They speak for us. They hear and they listen and then they discuss our passions, our doubts, our views and our crimes. And the best ones can even do it in rhymes. Sometimes they're silly, sometimes they're frightening, but always they're fun and often enlightening. Unlike a picture that stands still on a page, words still are richer in so many ways. And unlike a song that moves right along, the rhyme on the sheet lets us sing our own beat. Like sometimes if I tire of calling you Bay, I can instead compare thee to a summer's day. <laughs> and once upon a classroom dreary, you might stumble upon a perfect scheme. Edgar Allan Poe, the poet's words are like a dream. Whitman and Longfellow, Shakespeare and Hughes, it all started for me with old Dr. Seuss. I needed to read Oh the Places You'll Go because those were just things that I needed to know. And I needed to hear when I stopped growing tall that a person's a person, no matter how small. <laughs> Dr. Seuss gives children someone to trust. And so poetry itself for kids is a must. He gives them the gift of imagination, the gift of creation, a perfect sensation, perfect foundation, for any education, especially for kids like me who look up to these poets, who we long to be. So thank you, Dr. Seuss, for all that you did, for all that you gave me when I was a kid, and for all since then, for those moments when I can pick up my pen again and again. We could all be like Seuss. We have no excuse. He gave us the tools. Let's put them to use because the world needs a poet. It needs us a lot. Because a world without a poet is like a poem that doesn't end in a rhyme. <laughs>